Hi, Brent Tech here with Tech is Made Simple. Just a quick video to let you know that Microsoft has released KB4598291 for Windows 10 versions 2004 and 20H2 yesterday on the 2nd of February 2021. Now this is an optional update, better known as a preview build, and is, is not a quality update so it will not be installed automatically. You have the option to install it manually. Now, at the beginning of January, on Patch Tuesday, we had the main cumulative update which came out at the beginning of January. And this is the preview build which forms the latter part of the month's update which is always known as a preview build that always comes out near the end of the month on Microsoft's rolling release for updates every month. And as I say, it is optional. And if you don't download it now, you it will be part of the main cumulative update, which is coming next week on the 9th of February, known as Patch Tuesday. So it will form part of that update if you don't want to download it now manually for every for any reason. Now, if you'd like to see if you have the update, just go to your settings, navigate to update and security. And if you don't see anything here, a, a header called optional update, just check for updates and if it finds it, it will come up as a header saying optional updates and then you can install that manually. As I say, it is not a, a main cumulative update known as a quality update, so it won't be downloaded automatically. If you'd like to see if you have the update, you can just go to your view update history and you can scroll down. As I say, it is not a quality update, so it won't appear um, in this main list, like you see the, the cumulative update for Windows 10, which was released on Patch Tuesday at the beginning of January. So you just scroll down and you go to other updates and it will form part of these updates. And you can see here 2021-01 cumulative update preview for Windows 10 version 20H2 KB4598291. So now, what does this update address? According to the Microsoft uh, support website for Windows Update, it it's, it's, uh, provides fixes for long-standing critical bugs. Now, if I go to the support page and I just read some of the highlights quickly, I'm not going to go through all of them. I will leave a link in the description box below where for the web page for Microsoft support where you go, can go and look at all the new um, features and change log for this preview build. Now, some of the updates it addresses, um, critical bugs it addresses are it updates an issue that causes a device to stop responding when you play a game in full screen or tablet mode. Um, it updates an issue that prevents you from opening a document that is on the Windows desktop. Updates an issue that creates duplicate cloud provider folders in the File Explorer and Navigation pane. Updates an issue that displays a blank lock screen after a device wakes up from Hibernate. Updates an issue that might cause the Alt tab order to change unexpectedly and cause you to switch to the wrong window. And as I say, that is some of the um, highlights in the new change log for um, the, the new update. And, uh, and as I say, I'll leave a link in the box below, the description box below, where you can go and check that out for yourself. Now, if for whatever reason you install this update and you find it is giving you problems, all you do is you go into your Windows update, you go view update history, you go uninstall updates, and you can scroll down and... You can see a uh, update for Microsoft Windows KB4598291 and it was installed today. And if you don't, if it's giving you problems, you can just click on it and go uninstall and follow the prompts. And then you can wait for Patch Tuesday next week. And then if we just go back here into settings and we go to system and we scroll down, and we go to about. And you go Windows specifications. The OS build has now gone from 
19042.746 to 19042.789 in Windows 10 20H2 and in Windows 10 2004 that will be the new OS build will be 19041.789 in 2004. So that is just a quick summary of the latest update known as KB4598291, which was released yesterday on the 2nd of February. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.